What's up, YouTube? How's it going, guys and gals? This is the Atomic J, and this is another gameplay and commentary for you guys today. Uh, this is going to be a nice little 6v6 domination game on Zoo. I'll be using the L96 Extended, my usual uh, perk setup, class setup, you know, usual stuff, different game. Uh, actually, I think you guys will enjoy this game, you know, uh, as you hopefully enjoy all my games. <laughs> but this is going to be a really good one, too. I, I'm sorry I didn't really play the objective much because I'm still kind of going for montage kind of stuff, so I'm playing really aggressively. Um, but basically, I, you know, it was a pretty good score. I stayed uh, alive for the longest part, and then I took a dumb death, which, as you know me, is just a, after I take a dumb death, it kind of just is a string of dumb deaths right after. Um, but uh, it's still, I didn't, it's, it's, you know, it's down underneath my death count, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, but first thing I want to say in this commentary is I want to say sorry to uh, a lot of you because if you guys actually follow me on Twitter, you would know that I uh, canceled my open lobby I was supposed to host today. I, uh, there was a lot of complications with um, my real life and then my Xbox life as well. What the hell? Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, my Xbox life, um, I uh, had a lot of complications. Um, I guess I'll, you know, explain them to you. Um, the first complication, which probably is not as bad as the the next one I'm going to tell you, is uh, my microphone. Uh, my microphone is, like, uh, really patchy for some reason. Like, it has, like, a lot of uh, lag in between my words. And, you know, it's really an annoying to the fact that I have to talk like that. And, you know, Black Ops to me is, like, one of those games where you have to communicate with others and have fun and talk. Um, so for the fact that I can't do that kind of sucks. But, um... I need. I think I figured out what the problem is. Uh, my my uh, NAT type is set to moderate because when they actually hooked up my uh, internet, they uh, set it. The guy who did it set it up that way, um, which I don't know why. And I, I think I need to either call him or try and figure out how to open it up myself. Uh, just because I it, every time I uh, restart my connection to see if like my mic works, uh, it always brings up this caution symbol saying that. Uh, my NAT type is strict or moderate, so I need to open it up to have a better gaming experience. So um, I, I need to figure out how to fix it, and once I do, uh, my microphone should be fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's that's one of that's one of the problems. You know, I just figured that no one would want to play an open lobby with your, you know, one of your favorite commentators who's uh, not even talking or can't talk. So that's boring, you know. So I just figured, you know, I'll just open it another time. But uh, yeah, and, and then the second thing that's probably one of the more bigger things that happened to me, uh, this actually happened yesterday, uh, was uh, my car broke down. I uh, had a lot of car problems yesterday. I, uh, well, okay, first off, it started like a normal day. It was just a, you know, a regular day going to work. Uh, I was working a 1 to 10 shift, closing like I usually do, uh, lunch at 5, and my house is like a couple blocks away from my job, so what I tend to do is just go home and... Uh, stay at my house relax there instead of just staying in a cold uh, break room by myself which is really boring um, so I go to home to eat lunch uh, and you know a normal day I'm going back to work I got like you know I usually leave like 10 minutes before that way I'm not late um, and I'm going back to work and I turn the light to go on the street to go back to work and my tire pops and I'm like no so I pull over to the side of the bike lane and I have to call a triple A AAA truck to come uh, help me out because I think I'm probably one of the most uh, one of the only guys in the world that doesn't know anything about cars. But uh, I didn't know how to change a tire or nothing, so I, uh, I had to call them and the uh, the guy came to help me out. But uh, you know, after all that waiting, I think I I was late for work by the way. Like I, I had to call my boss and tell him I couldn't uh, make it or I'd be late. Um, and after all that waiting for a guy to come through, he he does like only like after like. 30 or 45 minutes um, which made me even more late um, and I end up uh, you know ended up telling me that he couldn't even help me because my my car is a Volkswagen and uh, check out this this is how I die this is the stupid death I was talking about <sighs> Claymore the Claymore was stunned and yet I still walked into it Ugh. but anyways as I was saying uh, I uh, I um, went to the I got called the AAA guy. He didn't. He couldn't help me because he said I need a specific lug key because all Volkswagens have the lug keys. Um, and I'm like, um, I don't have that. And he's like, Well, I, I'm sorry, I can't take it off. And I'm like, Well, you're AAA. You're supposed to fix this kind of stuff. There's no, no, there's no way you can just take it off. And he's like, No, I'd have to have the key in order to do it. And it was it's stupid though because I never even knew you had to do that. And my father was the who was the one who bought me the car. Uh, never knew either. So he was baffled too, and uh, basically they couldn't help me, so he ended up leaving, um, and I ended up calling my own insurance to give me a tow truck, 
which took another two hours. So by this time, I'm late for work around like 8.40. Like I clocked back in at 8.43, but I was late for like three or so hours. Um, and I, uh, you know, had to go get my car towed to the nearest uh, uh, tire place so I could leave it there in the parking lot and they would fix it tomorrow. And now they, they managed to fix it. Um, so, you know, I'll be able to drive. But uh, it's still, you know, it was a lot of problems, especially because I was supposed to go back to work. I, I kind of got in trouble for that, which actually made me really upset. And check this out. This is another dumb death. Noob tube? Ugh. But anyways, and he was lagging. Did you see that? He was, like, bouncing. I even had to watch that kill cam because I was like, are you serious? But anyways, um, I, uh, you know, I got in trouble for my job. You know, I, uh, I clock in three hours later after my lunch. And, I, you know, I was thinking, like, okay, I'll just work till 10, you know, do what I can, and then go home and be with my girlfriend or whatever, what have you. And uh, he ends up calling me on his lunch. My, my uh, not the manager, by mind you. He's just, like, an assistant assistant manager. He calls me and tells me, oh, uh, what time did you get back in? I'm like, oh, I'm, like, three hours late. He's like, oh, well, you're going to have to stay those three hours. And I'm like, are you are you serious? Are you serious? Like, I, I can't. I have to wake up early tomorrow so that way I can get my car fixed. Um, and he said he didn't really, it's not, a, it's not his problem. Uh, he couldn't really do anything about it. And, you know, it's not my, it's not his fault that the car broke down. I'm like, yeah, it's not my fault either. You know, it's not like I planned to have my car broke down, you know, or have a flat tire. And he was like, yeah, well, you know, it's the company's time and you have to stay. So I'm like, oh my God. So I really need a job. And I, you know, I was really thinking about quitting just because like, I, I know it's like hard to get a job nowadays, but I was really thinking about quitting because I'm kind of getting tired of this job. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to have any kind of strikes on me, but uh, I am getting tired of it. So I, I was thinking about quitting finally, but um, I just thought to myself after talking to my dad, uh, I just thought, you know what? Uh, he said that you just work it out, you know, and then we'll file a problem or a grievance the next day or something like that. And he's like, all right. So I had to pretty much, uh, you know, uh, bite my teeth at the whole matter and just, you know, work till like midnight or one o'clock in the morning which was terrible because I was supposed to get off at 10 uh, at night which you know just uh, I was so pissed you know um, so that's pretty much what happened to me though so as I said I'm sorry if I could you know if, if I didn't host the open lobby don't hate me I love you guys please don't hate me <laughs> uh, but there will be one real soon as soon as I can get my microphone fixed um, which I'm planning on calling the um, the guy who did my internet uh, sometime next week so he can uh, mess with it and make my nat type open that way I can not have any lag between my words um, but yeah so you know hopefully you guys don't hate me I love you <laughs> uh, actually real quick too um, uh, I actually played uh, with Snipeinator today guys I, it was pretty uh, interesting I, this is my second time playing with him um, you know he's a he's a really cool dude like I like playing with him you know and like, every game we play as you could probably imagine is just like pub stomp and sniping like you can almost like not even like move around without you know your kill being stolen by like a sniper from super far oh check this out by the way this is gonna be a really smart move on my part look at this three guys rushed to me right i uh, duck in in between cover and i jump to the side to avoid all their shots um i think i might include that in my snipe like a boss videos which are still gonna come up by the way i just like i said just, everything's been hectic for me um so they're still gonna come through uh so you can expect that the tutorial is not really much of a tutorial it's more of my tips for uh black ops sniping but um yeah so i played with snipinator and as you can imagine it was just a pub stomp sniper battle every single time and it was funny when the other team started to you know snipe too like you know like all the little fanboys who follow him but uh you know it was just really funny um I feel like I had, you know, it's funny when you play with your big commentators because you kind of feel like you have to prove yourself, which I think I did because he thinks, I, I don't know, like, uh, he just, I remember him saying all the funny comments saying like, oh, well, you gotta stop doing better than me, otherwise I'll uh, kick you from the party. <laughs> you know, just funny stuff like that. He's a really cool dude, like I said. So, uh, but anyways, this game's coming to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, that's pretty much been going on with my life. And uh, you guys have a nice day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.